In this video, we are going to discuss about distortionless transmission of the signal. So, as the name indicates, when we can say a transmission is distortionless, whenever we got the same signal after transmitting, then only we can say that is a distortionless transmission. For example, if you send any signal after transmitting some TD distance, after uh, traveling some TD time, after the delay also your signal is same then that is said to be distortionless transmission. That means the condition for that is your output signal must be like this. For example, if you send x of t you need to get your output signal y of t as similar to x of t. That means you can delay the time but you can't change the frequency. So, then only we can say that is a distortionless transmission. That means, so the output at the transmission end must be is equal to x of t minus td. That td may be either 0, 1, 2, 3 or so on. k may be amplitude scaling factor. So, here where TD is the time delay of the signal transmission and K is the amplitude of the signal or constant related to that amplitude. So, whenever you are getting X of T or X of T, delayed X of T, when you are getting same X of T or shifted X of T after transmitting X of T, then you can say that is a distortionless transmission. If your signal is distorted, then you are not going to get your X of T signal. If you send X of T, some Z of T signal may come. That means the frequency components may vary if the signal is distorted. But if signal is not going to distort means you need to get the same signal X of T at the output of transmission end or you need to get any shifted version of the same signal. So, here if you this Y of T is nothing but transmitter output transmission output for example here we are having transmission from here to there whatever signal you are getting there this transmission output here for example if you are having a transmission line so output of transmission line is considered as y of t that must be in terms of your sent signal only that must be in terms of your transmitted signal only you need not to get any other signal or any other frequency. So, the condition for distortionless transmission is the output at the transmission is equivalent to k into x of t minus td. Now, I will take Fourier transform on both sides to calculate phase and frequency spectrum. To calculate this spectrum, definitely if you want to calculate phase and frequency response uh, amplitude uh, response and phase response of your system then definitely you need to go for spectrum of the signals or frequency domain how we will go to frequency domain from time domain means we need to consider fourier transform so here i am going to consider fourier transform so consider fourier transform on both sides by considering fourier transform on both sides fourier transform of y of t is equal to Fourier transform of k into x of t minus td. So, now here Fourier transform of y of t is nothing but y of omega. So, how we will represent Fourier transform of y of t means always Fourier transform of any signal is represented with capital letter of the same sign. So, here we are having small y in signal representation. Here we need to give capital Y to represent spectrum of this signal. So, here the function is in terms of T. Here the spectrum function must be in terms of frequency. That is why we are writing Y of omega. This is nothing but the spectrum of Y of T or transform of Y of T. Now, coming to here, this is a constant. We are not going to write uh, any Fourier transform for constant. So, I am taking it out K into for remaining thing Fourier transform of X of T minus TD. Again, you need to skip two properties of Fourier transform. So, you are having time shifting property. If X of T is having Fourier transform, if X of T 
Fourier transform is x of omega then your time shifting property t minus t naught is nothing but e power minus j omega t naught into x of omega like this your spectrum is going to change when you shifted your signal the spectrum is going to change like this if x of t is having spectrum like this if you shifted your signal in time then the spectrum in frequency domain is going to change like this so this property i am going to apply here for a transform of x of t minus td i am going to calculate so here i am going to write e power minus j omega in place of t naught i am having td that td i am going to write like this td into x of omega where x of omega is the spectrum of x of t but at the end we received this signal amplitude scaled version and shifted version of your input signal so for that signal this is the spectrum so now i am just comparing this equation with transfer function equation you know, in very fundamentals of this signals and systems i told you your output always is equivalent output spectrum is equivalent to input spectrum into transfer function h of omega so this is the relation between this is transfer function and input spectrum and output spectrum so the relation between input spectrum output spectrum and transfer function of the system is output spectrum is equivalent to input spectrum into transfer function if you want transfer function of the system then you need to calculate the ratio of y of omega by x of omega then you are going to get your transfer function i am considering this relation i want to compare with this relation so here this equation i am going to compare with this equation then here x of omega x of omega is there y of omega y of omega is there if you compare then you are going to get h of omega is equivalent to k into e power minus j omega td if you calculated modulus of h of omega then you are going to get amplitude spectrum amplitude spectrum so here if you consider modulus of these two then you are going to get k only so you are going to get just magnitude that magnitude is equivalent to k if you went to phase spectrum so here phase spectrum of this transfer function is equivalent to so phi i want to represent with phi of k so phi or phi of k so this is equivalent to here we are having i am just comparing with k into e power j phi i am comparing with this here this is amplitude spectrum and this is phase spectrum phi is represented with phase spectrum and always this multiplication or amplitude scaling factor can be considered as amplitude spectrum modulus of that can be considered as amplitude spectrum now here phi of k or phi is equivalent to so i am considering like uh, phi you can see i am just considering like phi to compare these two so you can consider minus omega td this is minus omega td so in place of omega you can substitute 2 pi f td so this is equivalent to minus 2 pi f td will be your phase spectrum now theoretically the amplitude spectrum will be like this and the phase spectrum will be like this so i am writing that so phase spectrum will be like this theoretically why because this is a dc line with uh, constant like this if you increase t this value will decrease you can see this phi will decrease if you increase your f for t so here this is amplitude spectrum and this is phase spectrum practically these spectrums will be like this practically when you saw amplitude spectrum of distortionless system then that will be in the form of like this not like dc signal practically so now and here also 
this is also like this. So, this is also like this, not exactly in this shape, but the root is same. So, this is about a distortionless transmission. So, what is meant by distortionless transmission means as the name indicates, we need to get the same signal which we send with delay or amplitude scaling, that is it. But we we need not to get or we cannot get any other signal than X of T. Definitely, if our system is distortionless system means that is going to produce the same signal which we send with some delay and amplitude scaling. The condition for distortionless transmission is this. If you calculate, if you want to calculate amplitude and phase spectrum, then definitely you need to consider spectrums of the signals. So, if you want spectrums of the signals, how we will get spectrums? Spectrums are nothing but frequency domains. How we will get frequency domain means by taking any transform. So, here I consider Fourier transform. So, after considering Fourier transform, I am comparing with this equation and I am writing equation for transfer function of the system to calculate amplitude and phase response of the system. So, by considering this and comparing with this equation of phase and amplitude spectrum, then I am going to get my amplitude spectrum as k and phase spectrum as minus omega td that will be is equal to 2 pi f td. By changing f or td, you are going to get your response like this and your amplitude spectrum will be like this. Practically, these spectrums will be like this. Amplitude spectrum pra practically for a distortionless transmission will be like this and phase spectrum for distortionless transmission will be like this. This is about distortionless transmission of a system.